Hello! Today we are going to make some donuts. And to start we are making a donut prototype. So just sculpt a donut. I'm, I used a round cutter and made a hole in the center and just smoothed it out and then made a mold. We are going to make donut molds and for that you are going to take some scrap clay and make six different donuts. And then place them on a piece of clay. Be sure to actually use liquid clay to so that the donut will stick nicely to the sheet and then bake. For the actual miniature donut mold, I'm just using some chalk and a thin piece of black um, polymer clay. And as you see, I'm using um, various tools, really what I have at home, to shape the black sheet around, um, around the donuts. Not the black sheep, <laughs> which is something totally different. So just take your time to make it uh, good. And once you're finished, uh, cut out the excess and then you can bake everything together. Normally, if you have put, put enough chalk, it will not stick to the scrap clay. Once baked, just remove. As you see, it's quite flexible. Um, I cut again around the edges um, to make it more rectangular, I guess, more perfect, so to speak. And then I painted it with some black and silver acrylic paint. The mold uh, I used before, I used again to make all the tiny donuts. And I simply textured them with sandpaper and a toothbrush. And then I colored them with some pastels easy. A mix of ochre, brown. And lastly I decorated them with um, what I call a polymer clay icing, which is basically a mixture between liquid polymer clay and regular clay. Here I simply pre-baked very thin stripes of clay and made confettis out of them. So to make the sprinkles, you just want to make sure that you make very thin stripes. And yeah, just decorating the donuts. This is actually quite fun. I always have a lot of different icing. Uh, colors at home that I keep in small tiny plastic boxes so I don't really have to make the icing every time I need it. You could also use some micro beads uh, for these and for the chocolate one I actually used some chocolate sand. Well, chocolate colored sand. And lastly I made an oven mitt. mitt? I suppose. So just cut out um, the outer shape of the mitt and smooth the edges out. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> just draw a pattern on top of it. Give it some texture with a sandpaper or toothbrush and well basically do what I do. Um, I'm using a clay shaver right now and a toothpick to make um, the hole where you put the hand in and just continue texturing until you're happy with it. I added a little uh, border. Hem. Hemline. It's called hemline. <laughs> so I added a little hemline, smoothed it out and added some stitches 
added some more details and then I baked. After baking I added some dots. It's going to be a, between dots and flowers I guess. So first the red, red the dots. I was going to say rot which is the German for red. <laughs> and then just tiny tiny bits of white. And I added some extra white extra white sorry to to give it more more depth and this is it i hope you enjoyed this thank you